Hi friends, I am coming at you for Math Digital Learning Day 8. I'm forgetting how to talk. I'm tired of being at my house. How about you guys? And it's been raining, so we're going to try and have fun with math. And then it's almost spring break. We are halfway through this week. Um, and next week is spring break, spring break. And everybody has a very exciting trip planned to their house. I know. But, hey, at least we don't have to be doing school. So today's Would You Rather was made for Miss Cross. So I decided I'm going to work this one out with you, and I'm going to see if you can guess which thing I would rather have. And those of you that know me well know how I feel about Reese's. And today's Would You Rather is about my favorite kind of Reese's, Easter egg Reese cups. I truly believe that Easter has the best candy of any holiday throughout the year, and the best candy of all is Reese's eggs. I even am using an orange marker today because it matches Reese's cups. Um, so this is fun. On your measurement practice slides for day three, you will see today's Would You Rather, and today's Would You Rather is Would You Rather Buy 18 Reese's Eggs at a price of two for eight dollars, or 18 Reese's eggs at a price of buy two, get one free. Now, I wonder if you notice anything about these prices. When I started writing my poster here, I was like, two eggs for $8? Now, Reese's eggs are usually not super cheap, but they're not that expensive. So I looked really closely at the picture that you'll see in your slides, and I noticed that those eggs in that picture are... A package of eggs and if you look really closely you'll see that for these eggs you're buying a six pack so each pack you buy has six eggs these over here I looked really closely and the best I can tell is they're individual eggs so you're buying one at a time at this price so knowing how Miss Cross feels about Reese's and Knowing how Miss Cross feels about saving money, I'm going to want to get the most eggs for the least money. Anybody agree with me? Okay, so let's figure out. If I were to buy 18 eggs and they cost two packs for $8, so two six packs for $8, so if I get one six pack and another six pack, how many eggs is that? It's 12. And I spent $8 because I bought two packs. One, two. But I need more eggs. I need six more to get 18. So I'm going to buy one more pack of six. And I'll have 18 eggs. And if I got two packs for $8, how much would one pack cost, do you think? I'm guessing $4 because four, sorry, I just forgot what I was doing. Four is half of eight, right? And six is half of 12. So I'm going to guess that if I do this way, I'm going to get 18 eggs and I'm going to spend $12. Mm, sounds like an okay deal. Let's move over here. If I buy... 18 eggs. I realize I forgot the price. For 97 cents. 97 cents. But every time I buy two, I get one free. I usually like buy one, get one free deals. How about you guys? Okay, so let me think through this. I gotta wrap my mind around this a minute. So if every two eggs I buy, I get a free one. Okay? So if I buy two eggs, for 97 cents. You know what? I don't like that number 97 very much. I don't feel like adding 97 over and over again or multiplying by 97. So I'm going to round it up to $1. So I'm going to say these eggs cost about a dollar. So if I buy two eggs times $1, I'm spending $2, right? But what are they giving me? One more egg. So I'm going to have actually three for $2. Okay, I'm going to buy two more, two more dollars, so now I've spent four dollars, but remember they've given me another egg, 
So now I have six eggs, and I've spent four dollars. Let's see what happens next. I buy another two. For another two dollars. Now I've spent six dollars. But they've given me another one, so I have three. But you know what I just realized? I think I said something wrong a minute ago. I've actually only bought two, four, six eggs. These were all free. So now I've bought six. I've spent six dollars, but I have nine eggs. Which thing is looking like a better deal? I'm thinking this one. So if I keep going... And I get two more eggs for two dollars. That's two more dollars. I've spent eight dollars. But they've given me a bonus. Let's do it this way. Let's see, this is now nine. We're adding these up. Three, six, nine. No, this is twelve. Sorry guys if I'm confusing you. I'm confusing myself a little bit. Um, all right, so if I kept going, two more would be ten dollars, two more would be twelve dollars, and two more would be fourteen dollars. And let's see, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I need to do two more. So two more would be sixteen and two more would be eighteen. That would be eighteen eggs that I've bought for eighteen dollars. But for each of those I got a free one. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eggs for free. Could that be right? So 27 eggs for $18? If that's correct, we know I'm going for this deal. Now, double check my math because I confused myself a little bit on that. But I think that the buy one, get one free would be a better deal for Reese's eggs. Okay. Now I'm going to model a couple more elapsed time problems for you. These will be on the next two slides of your um, measurement practice slides. The first one told us, sorry guys, my other computer went off, that Andrea is at soccer practice and she, hold on, she stopped soccer practice at 7.15. She started soccer practice at 5.30. And remember with elapsed time, we need to think about start time, end time, and elapsed time, the time that passes in between. So we have the start and the end. The unknown here is our elapsed. So I'm going to put my start time here, 5.30. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my end time 7.15. Now I notice I have a 30 minutes and a 15 minutes. So I'm going to start sticking with 30 minutes until I have to change, okay? So I'm going to go one hour. That would be 6.30. Now if I went another hour to 7.30, would that work? No, that would be too much time. I'm not, she's not playing for that long. So let's go a half hour. So if I go 30 minutes, 6.30 plus 30 minutes would be 7 o'clock. Oh, look. 7 to 7.15 is 15 minutes. So if I add those together, I have 1 hour and 30 plus 15, which is 45 minutes. So she played soccer for 1 hour and 45 minutes. All right? Now, Cameron. Cameron needs to know what time her bus comes. And I've written everything that we do know. We know our start time, and we know all these things in the middle, but we don't know the end time. So we're going to do this kind of like we did yesterday, add these times up and see if we can figure out what time she better start running before she misses her bus. All right? So she started at 7.20. I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to figure out how much time she has. So she's taking a shower for 10 minutes, eating breakfast for 25 minutes. That's about right, Cameron, especially at school. By the time you've gone downstairs a couple times and still haven't gotten your breakfast, it does take 25 minutes for her to eat her breakfast. Maybe she's quicker at home. All right, 
nine minutes to brush our teeth. So we're going to add these times up. Nine plus five plus zero is 14. Carry my one. Two plus one is three plus one is four. So 44 minutes. So all of her getting ready for school things take her 45 minutes. So let's do a number line. And remember her start time is 7.20. Okay? I'm going to go in 10 minute jumps and then ones to get this 44 minutes. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, I almost made my number line too small. 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay? So 720 plus 10 minutes would be 730. Plus 10 more minutes would be 740. Plus 10 more minutes would be 750. Plus 10 more minutes would be 8 o'clock. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4. Her time, she better get on her bus. It's 804. All right. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. Woo! If I did, you guys can point them out and help me correct myself. I miss having you guys in front of me to tell me when I mess up. Um, have fun with your math today. If you have any questions, let me know. See you later. Bye.